Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Gary. Thanks for joining me today um, for this look at Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now by The Smiths. Now, I've done a couple of Smith songs recently on the channel and I've had some great feedback uh, about it. Um, I think there's a lot of Smiths lessons online, some are better than others, and what I've tried to do uh, in the ones on this channel is, um, you know, try and, try and get it as accurate as possible. Um, there are sometimes multiple guitar parts going on with Smith songs, so sometimes there is a compromise. So uh, what I'm going to do in this lesson is show you the individual parts that Johnny Marr plays um, as close as I, I, I think I can get them. I think it's pretty accurate. Um, and I'm going to also show you a kind of blended way if you're just playing guitar on your own, because with this one in particular, this song in particular, I think um, it, it's hard to sort of get enough guitar into it uh, if, with, with some of the parts um, if you're just playing them on their own. It'll make sense when we go through it. Um, if you're new to the channel then please do subscribe and give me a like, send me your comments. I really really love to hear from you, it's great. Um, and uh, you know this, this track's been requested by a couple of the subscribers to the channel um, so I've had a good look at it. I've even fitted this uh, Bigsby um, vibrato to my old Epiphone which is why it's taken me a bit longer than I was planning on doing to uh, to get this one done. Um, so anyway we'll uh, we'll have a look at the song, we'll break it all down together uh, and we'll get in nice and up close as usual. Okay so there we go we're in up close now hopefully you can see everything clearly um, there's quite a lot of shine on this guitar now I've fitted this new uh, shiny Bigsby vibrato so I'm trying to uh, keep the reflection down as much as I can but I thought it would be worth um, using the the Bigsby putting one on the guitar I've been meaning to do it for a while so this seemed like a, a great excuse to do it um, so for this one we're in standard tuning um, I've got a capo at the second fret um, you're probably familiar with Smith songs if you're watching this or you may be uh, but a lot of the tunings of Smith songs were recorded up a couple of tones. Um, I think Johnny Marr used to tune his guitar up um, back, uh, in, you know, in the 80s when the Smiths were playing these. But I think if you're playing them as part of a covers band or something, or just playing at home, then the it's best to just capo up really. Um, but we're in standard tuning, capo at the second fret. Um, tone wise, tone tips. As usual for these Smith songs, I've got just a little bit of tremolo. I don't have a tremolo on my amplifier so I just have a pedal, uh, a Hampstead pedal which is great. It's a really amp-like tremolo but a very very slight bit of tremolo. Um, you, you can hear it there. I've also got a little bit of chorus and a tiny bit of delay so that when we play some of these sort of double stop parts after. just helps us out, that sort of builds it up a bit, um, keeps the sound going. When we just get down to some of those parts where they're just individual notes. Um, so uh, I've got a tiny bit of gain, I'm not on the clean channel of the amp, um, but... I just want it to break up ever so slightly uh, when I hit the strings a bit harder. Okay, so we've got the capo on at the second fret. The first chord, I'm barring across uh, there, at the, that's on the ninth fret of the guitar. Um, and I'm holding down um, G10, uh, D11, and B11, and I'm just strumming it. Actually, you can strum from the A string. you can see my fingers there um, so if, if I take the bar off I'm just holding down it's like a sort of inverted D shape barring across and there we go uh, we slide the whole thing down to the third fret from the capo or the, the fifth fret of the guitar so it's exactly the same chord shape and then we go to uh, a B minor 7 shape there at the 2nd fret from the capo. Again, 
again we can strum that from the a, from the a string which is our sort of root b note so so far we've got this Next note is it's an A chord. Um, again, we can play it from the open A string. So I'm holding down B7, G8, uh, and D9. Um, that's uh, on the guitar. Uh, for, so from the capo, uh, it's like the fifth fret really on the on the E string. And then just bending down slightly using the vibrato. So that uh, introduction chords again is... Okay, so hopefully you can see my, my left hand clearly there. I'm also letting the, the first string ring out. And I'm just really going to play there now, just from the, the D string with that strumming part. I'm pulling my first finger off to leave an open B string. Then slide that up. You can slide like that or just up and down strumming. And then we go into the, the first verse. And again, we're going to use this uh, sort of E major seven shape here. So that's, I was happy in the haze of a drunken hour. And then you can just take off your little finger as you change chord to give it some punctuation. Like that. So I'm sliding up, uh, it's an, a bar chord. It's, Fret's getting quite tight towards the top of the guitar then, but I'm barring across at the 11th fret. Um, so this is sort of C sharp major seven shape. It's the same really as if we played it down the more familiar shape down here. So C major seven. I'm just taking my pinky on and off um, but it, it, it works better uh, in the song just sort of coming up the neck to to play that so from the top we've got this and it so it's down up down and then again with my pinky I'm just sort of playing that note there on the 14th fret of uh, the B14. You want to play with quite a bit of percussion. Perhaps not quite as much as that then, but you get the, the gist. You're kind of muting. Um, you don't just want all these chords blending together. You want to try and play it with some feel. So we'll go, we'll go from the top. Um, to um, sort of F sharp major seven shape there and we just take our second finger on and off so keep that, that kind of feel going as you're going through to that sort of A shape uh, up to a B that we slide up to the B like we had in the introduction and take our first finger off the B string to leave it, let it ring out open with the, the E and again I'm keeping that sort of with my muting with my, the palm of my hand just to keep some uh, punctuation between these chords Okay, so from the very top, I'll just play what we've got so far from with the introduction and the 
the first verse chords up to now. to in my life why do I why do I give valuable time so you slide up on the first one but not the second and then back to in my life back to our A and B chords again we'll take the uh, first finger off the B string why do I give valuable time kind of reverse that, just sliding that shape down from the B to the A. And then it goes to um, sort of slightly different shape. So now I'm just holding down um, B7 on the guitar, or 5 from the capo, uh, G six and D eight sounds like that so you kind of just slide down and then we go into this sort of so that's um uh, what we've got there sort of C sharp minor seven really slide that up to the 11th fret of the guitar and then back to our okay so hopefully this is making sense if you're familiar with the uh, you know the song um, I'm sure you are but obviously you need to listen to the record a lot as well as this lesson to get those bits down so that's the, um, the the first verse. There aren't really chorus in this song. It's just uh, sort of four verses, I think it is. And then comes these double stops. So I'm just playing the B and G string at the 11th fret on the guitar. And then I'm going down to the um, B and G string, but uh, there I've got them on B9 uh, and uh, G10. And then slide that down again, just to the um, to the seventh fret. And try and play it with a bit of that kind of feel. Okay, and then we're back to our first chord. Looked at that chord before. That's our. Um, sharp major seven is it? And then we're right up on um, 16th, 17th and 18th frets just barring the, the first three strings sliding up like this. That's the, the first verse, so there is no chorus as such in this song. Mm -hmm. 
down for the, the introduction and the first verse the second verse is going to be completely different <laughs> so just when you think you're getting there with it uh, it's a bit different um, uh, it's completely different actually um, we do go back to the, the the chords we've just done in the first verse later on in the song so it's it's like a sandwich really you've got the, those chords for the introduction and the first verse and then also on the third verse um, and then the second and the, the second verse and the outro go like this, these are different. Now what I'm gonna do, um, these are a bit, not harder, but it's harder to get it to sound right. Those chords that I've just played, you know, I think they're, they're right to the record, uh, but in this part, there's some guitar overlays, so it's hard to get this exactly right. So I'm gonna show you what I think Johnny's playing uh, for the main part, and then a secondary part, and then I'm gonna also show you a blend that I've kind of worked out, which I think sounds pretty good actually. Uh, to keep the guitar sound full. So um, the start of the second verse, uh, I'll, I'll show you what Johnny plays first. So he's, it's a kind of, so it's like part of a D chord there, just on the, um, I'm holding down G, G6 uh, on the guitar and uh, the B7. And I'm just sort of hitting the individual strings down from the G the B, the open E, and then back to the G. So it's a kind of droning sound really. And he hammers uh, his third finger on the G, uh, up, taking it up to the eighth fret. And you don't have to be exact, you know, I mean it's it's sort of rock views of this isn't it but it's it's just to, to get that feel and then he goes down to like the part of an A chord there holding down uh, the B and the G string so just strumming the, the G B and then just on and off the, the the first string of the second fret all at the second fret that from the uh, from the capo uh, fourth fret of the guitar sorry and then he comes to this sort of position so I'm holding down um, B two from the capo uh, and G uh, Four from the capo, <laughs> getting confused with the with the capo. Uh... So that part all together played slowly sounds like this. You can you can hammer on with your first finger on that B string. Okay, so Johnny plays that part throughout the second verse and while that's going on there's another guitar going on in the background and that is using our our first chord uh, down to um, our sort of C sharp major 7 and then hammering on with our pinky there Going down to, I'm just barring the first sort of three or four strings there to suggest our uh, F sharp major seven chord. Um, so that's just. And then there's a kind of a, like a slide up. So all I'm doing there, just sliding up from, I don't know. So. 
Yeah, probably the the ninth fret of the guitar, barring down the first three strings up to the eleventh fret of the guitar. And then I'm just sort of barring um, E and B there at nine and G string at ten. And that just goes around um, combined with the, the first guitar part that I showed you. What I'll show you next is a way of, I've just come up with this way of combining all of those um, to get, I think, some of the flavour of the song if you're just playing with one guitar. So you remember that Johnny was just playing those three two notes there but with the open E string. I'm holding down the D string there uh, at the eighth fret. That note. I think it fills it out a bit more and you can also just slide up your second finger uh, from on the B string. Keep the B string held down. Just sounds a bit fuller. That's just a chord really, I'm holding down um, E6, B7, G8, D8. I'm going into that sort of major 7 shape and then hammering on and off with my pinky there. And then, so that's it, mimicking that part. But you've just got uh, fuller strings. In fact, you can play the A string. And then just slide that up. just playing uh, an open um, E and B string, G string at the 10th, D at the 11th and it's just a kind of resonant ambient sounding and that's mimicking that part uh, from down here. You can actually go back down and play it that part as Johnny does it if you want to. And, and then we do our so it's just easier to do that bit when you're up the neck here already than coming back from down there. So all together I'll just play that part really slowly. And those are the parts for the second verse combined. On that second verse uh, you can actually when I play that sort of more jangly open chord um, you can just slide up the same thing that you've been doing here. It still works. Um, You can also play an open B there. So we're moving through the track uh, now, uh, stay with it, um, if, if this is a song you've always wanted to play. Um, so we're back now to our more conventional chords, um, the, there's only one guitar part in this unlike the second verse that I've just showed you. So we, we have uh, as the, a lead into that, our first chord and then we get this kind of, um, that's just E, 
13, B14, and G15. And then I'm just barring across and just strumming from the, the D string really at the 14th fret. Bit of vibrato. Back down to that shape we, we saw in the introduction. And then our A shape and just push that down if you've got a vibrato. And then we're back into the, uh, the third verse. Here's what she asked of me at the end of the day. Caligula would have blushed. Now here, so we're not doing anything new in terms of the, the chord shape, it's just playing it as an arpeggio style. From the, uh, from the D string, B, G, and back to the, the D string. You can probably slide that up actually. Uh, okay, you could slide up from the um, that D string on the seventh fret of the guitar. And other than that, the third verse um, is the same as the first one in terms of the you know the chord showed you you can actually mix it up with some of the the the, the, the parts that as they played by Johnny um, so uh, you, you'd get something like um so instead of going oh, you can just go back to that bit You could combine those sort of mix and match really um, just to keep it interesting as you go through so then for the outro uh, that's just the same as the second verse that combined part or if you just want to pick out one of the parts that I showed you before but uh, we're into this sort of goes around a couple of times and then you come to the the ending um, and here we've got uh, some of the chords we had in the introduction so I'll just take it back up again slid it down to the third fret from the capo there fifth fret of the guitar to where I started with the whammy bar and then it's just kind of they're like triads really um, so 
So I'm just holding down um, B, B10, G11, D12, and then my pinky on E12. And then just slide that up so that uh, you're holding down the, the D string at the 14th. So those are all the guitar parts to Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now, uh, it's a classic Smith song. I hope you've enjoyed working through uh, the lesson with me. Please, please do let me know what you think, I'd uh, love to hear your comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already, of course it's, it's free to do so on YouTube, it just means that you get to see new content as I put it out. This is still a fairly new channel actually, uh, it's been going about six months or so and I'm planning on putting tons more content out in the future. So uh, uh, I'll see you next time. In the meantime, enjoy your guitar playing.